For this next tab, Cyclic Pitch Geometry, uh, when we click on it, it's going to automatically adjust the uh, pitch of the uh, blades. Now, for this particular setup, they want to make sure the blades are pointed forwards and backwards, just like they are, aligned with the boom of the helicopter, so just like I have it. And uh, basically what I want to do is obtain an 8 degree pitch angle uh, from this configuration. Uh, and the idea is to stay uh, in the green zone. All right, so I'm going to adjust this to get 8 degrees of pitch. All right, and that has me at 91.8%. I'm still within the green. Uh, I can even do 92.2 probably. I'm still within the green zone, which is ideal. I'm going to go back to tab 4, let it level out to 0, back to tab 5, should pop it over to 8 degrees. And that's where I'm at, and that's where I want to be. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the welcome screen just to reinitialize. Write those changes I just made. And you'll notice when it's done, I go back to zero pitch. Back into the setup guide. Back to cyclic pitch. I should see an eight there. And I do. So for the cyclic servos, um, that's pretty much uh, the fundamental settings. Let's go back and do a quick review from the beginning of the uh, of the setup screen here, uh, remembering that uh, that we worked to get the uh, travel limits high and low uh, configured where we want them. May still be a little bit high on that motor motor high. Um, this depends on how much uh, pressure's on the stick, uh, and we have you know side to side, uh, ups and downs, uh, and then I have the gyro uh, gain, high and low rate and AVCS. As you can see on the phone, the uh, changes I'm making are not affecting the movement of the servos themselves, so they are disengaged from this uh, process. Go to the next tab. It's to identify the, uh, the servo types and the frequencies. Uh, and then we go to swash type, and basically you're identifying what type of swash. Uh, this is, happens to be a Y120 with a left, right, and center configuration. Uh, so that's how I have it set up. Servo direction. Basically the point of this screen when I, when I click servo direction is that all of the servos should be at their high position. So uh, all servo arms should be up and that's what we're seeing there, which is why you're seeing an extreme amount of pitch there as well. Uh, then we move into the collective. And again, to, to change those, you can just hit the reverse, right? So if, let's say my center one was down instead of up, I could click to reverse and it will change it uh, real time. Now we go back to collective pitch, which is where we just spent a lot of time. That takes it to uh, the zero uh, collective pitch setting at mid stick. And then that's where we adjust the 12 degree full positive uh, pitch and the negative 12 degree uh, on the negative collective. All right, go back to center, and then we go to cyclic pitch geometry. From there, we adjust that to eight degrees, and that's what I have there. The next thing we want to do is take a look at the direction. So what you need to do now is set the direction of your uh, fly barless system mounting. So if you remember on mine, I mounted it uh, on the bottom 
with the wires to the back. And that is, uh, is how it is mounted. So my wires are facing the rear of the helicopter and it's basically in an upside down configuration on the bottom. After I do that, then I can move to this tail servo uh, uh, configuration. I'm gonna hit save here. And I, I'm done with this uh, pitch gauge, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Set it aside, my wife will be happy to have her phone back. And basically, what we wanna do now is look at the tail of the helicopter. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is establish the airflow direction for, uh, for the tail uh, rotor. So this is kind of cool. So when you're in this screen, uh, you don't want to move the helicopter uh, in a different orientation. So if you do need to move it, you can move back to a different screen. Go back to five or four or three or one or zero, whatever. Just get out of this. But whenever you get to this direction screen, tab six, try and leave uh, the tail of the helicopter uh, wherever it is because uh, what's going to happen now is we're going to move the helicopter um, and then observe what happens with the tail. All right. So, so what's going to happen now is uh, the instructions ask you, uh, and this you have to do this after you've established where your gyro is on the helicopter. So mine is on the bottom with the wires back, and it says rotate the helicopter clockwise slowly. Okay, and observe the tail slider movement. So when I rotate it at clockwise, you can see here, I'm back to center, rotate it clockwise, it moves outward as shown in figure one, which is what it's doing. Rotate the helicopter counterclockwise and observe the tail slider move. It should move moving inwards, and it is. So as you can see, when I rotate the helicopter, I'm getting the movement that I would expect uh, from this configuration. If my movement was reversed, I could just click here, tail servo reverse, and it will reverse that direction. So basically, uh, uh, this is how you're just gonna establish the direction of your, of your tail rotor in comparison to the rest of the, the helicopter. So uh, that is it, so I'm gonna hit save here.